our older and our very young puppies are going to be the most at risk. Dr. Andrea Schlesselberg is a veterinarian with the Veterinary Emergency Group in Manhattan. She has treated a few pets that have been exposed to the same toxic smoke from the Canadian wildfires as the rest of us this week, and that has put them at risk for health problems. The biggest risks are going to be breathing issues, anything related to respiratory function. And it can also affect um, their eyes. They can get ocular irritation, potentially even ulcers. Eleanor is an 11-year-old French bulldog that was brought in in respiratory distress. She was out for a walk, and then she started to develop respiratory signs. The owner was noticing that she wasn't breathing normally, and she did ultimately need to have some oxygen therapy overnight. As the smoke began to clear. Dog owners brought their pets to the dog at Union Square after being cooped up for several days. Got a golden retriever. It's a little tough to keep them inside all day, so uh, just shorter breaks, take them to the park, but for a shorter amount of time. I didn't walk my dog as much as I'd like to yesterday. That's the truth. It's a little nicer today, and that's why I'm at the dog walk. This woman had another idea to keep her dog inside until the smoke clears. Um, actually, I try to talk to other dog owners and see if we can have a play date inside. Back at the veterinary medical facility, we learned that certain breeds of dog are more vulnerable to health issues than others. English Bulldogs, French Bulldogs, Boston Terriers, Boxers even. So what are the warning signs you should look for? if your pet is in distress. If they're starting to slow down or you're starting to see increase, increased rate or effort to their breathing, panting, difficulty breathing, their gum coloration is gonna turn blue or cyanotic. In cats, if you have your windows open or if they're indoor outdoor cats, they could cough, gag, or you'd see open mouth breathing, which we should never be seeing in a cat. Eleanor, they tell us, is recovering nicely, getting back into a normal breathing pattern. If your dog is stumbling or more lethargic than usual, that's a sign you should get in touch with your veterinarian. Right now, the best advice, at least until the smoke clears, is to keep your pet indoors as much as possible.